Hey guys, I've got a really cool coach to show you today. This is a 2022 model. It has just come off the assembly line. It's coach number 1716. It has a center entry, which as many of you know, is my very favorite thing. Uh, let me show you what this thing can do. It's really awesome. Look how cool she looks lit up after dark. These colors are selectable. This coach has some blue accents on the outside, so I really loved blue for the accent color, but you can pick really any color you like. It's got a really cool paint job. It has some ghost effects in it and a lot of fades and drop shadows. It has five coats of clear, and then it is hand sanded, cut and buffed, and then ceramic coated. So it'll look this good for a long time. Just see the ghost striping in there. Look at this engine bay. We've got a X15 605 horse Cummins in there. Lots of polished stainless trim. Awesome backlighting. This is the side access over here. Got a little water running off the coach. It snowed on me today while we were outside. Let's have a look underneath the coach. First, we have chrome plated wheels. Very nice, no maintenance required. Just wash them like you would the rest of the coach. Next is the batteries and fuel. These are the house batteries. There are six absorption glass mat batteries, 8D size. There's three more in the back to start the coach. This is 205 gallons of fuel. DEF is on the other side, it's 15 gallons. Center entry coaches are set up a little different. They have three pass-through storage bays, whereas a front door typically has two larger ones. This is the first of them. That goes all the way through. Then here's the door. And then just forward of the door is the holding tank bay. This has holding tanks, pumps, aqua hot filters, and also a television that's on a power swing out mechanism. It's a 49 inch television. Just forward of that is the second of the big pass through bays. And then the third. We've got our show stuff loaded up in here already. This coach is headed out to the show circuit here shortly. Finally, the steer tire up here, also chrome plated wheels. And then this forward bay has the cooling unit for the generator. This is a front mount generator. It's a 20 kilowatt four cylinder turbocharged unit. And it goes right behind the new old badge here. This is the 20 kilowatt generator. It is made by Martin. It's a four cylinder turbocharged unit. It has its own air ride chassis. You can see the airbags down there at the bottom. That keeps it from vibrating the coach while it's running. And then up here in the top is the Halon fire suppression system. It's a really a cool setup and just bulletproof. Gives us no troubles. As you guys know, one of the things that I really love about Newell Coach is our ability to build a center entry coach. What I like so much about center entries is 
when you are living outdoors, which is frankly what a lot of us buy these for is so that we can travel to where the weather's nice and spend a lot of time outside, the interface with indoor and outdoor living is so much nicer through the middle of the coach. You're under an awning if the weather's inclement. You have a screen door, which the front door coaches do not. And look how convenient the entrance right into the refrigerator, pantries, and half bath. This one has beautiful colors on it. I think this is the most comfortable recliner I've ever sat in. It has porcelain floors all the way back to the back. Let me show you what the storage looks like up here. by the recliner has file drawers down at the bottom and then there's storage back behind the recliner itself as always under the dinette you have big pantries back there on the far side of the refrigerator and a bunch of drawers in the coffee bar with cabinets overhead these are the overhead cabinets over the galley, and they go directly into some overhead cabinets over the couch. I'll show you what's behind this door here in just a second. Back to the galley, lots of cabinet space here. This galley has almost 10 feet of counter space with a lot of doors and drawers. Midway back there is the dishwasher with drawers above and below it. One of the challenges is how to deal with a front television that doesn't lift and block your walkway or isn't built in and, and block your view of the outside. This is a thing we've been doing a lot of in the past couple of years and people really like it. This is a projection system where we are using the sunshade as the projection screen. Um, it's set up right now. This is this is actually a pretty cool function. So it can project inside and outside the coach. If you reverse the image, this is the inside. If you reverse the image, it will project through the screen and show from outside. And there are two Bluetooth speakers that provide surround sound out there. It's a really cool system and uh, a really neat way to do movie night outside. This is the projector. It is an Optimo 4K projector. It works off of the satellite, Blu-ray player, and uh, really any other input you need. It's really a high quality picture, very nice setup. Okay, coming in the center entry, if you make an immediate left toward the hallway, you'll come across the half bath which, as usual, has gorgeous tile work in it. It's really a nice size.
just opposite of the half bath and also easily accessible from the center entry is a really top shelf refrigerator. This is GE's monogram series, which we really like. Look at the size of the hinges. That means rough roads do not affect the alignment of your refrigerator door. And it has a waist height ice drawer right here, very convenient. And then the big bottom drawer is turned down to be used as a freezer or turned up to be used as a refrigerator at your preference. Moving on into the master bedroom, we have a junior king size bed, there's storage up above, closets on both sides of the bed with awesome nightstands. The nightstands have 110 volt power so you can run your chargers or CPAP, whatever needs to be there. There's one on each side of the bed, both have power outlets. You also have the ability to control the coach off of the iPad there or the touch panel over on this side. You can run these security cameras, climate control, start the generator, lock the doors, anything that needs to be done. Then over here on the other side is another set of closets. Huge rear television with Anthony Gallo surround sound and another closet and I'll show you what all this looks like too. Here's a look at the storage in the bedroom. This is one of the closets on the aft side of the television in the master and there's a big set of drawers down below. coach has about nine feet of hanging total. This is another hanging locker over here. And then on either side of the bed is one of these shirt lockers. Under the bed, as always, has a powered lift for storage. These bolsters you see go into the dinette when it's extended. I'll show you how that works in a moment. And there's the other shirt locker. A little bit of storage overhead. Now we're going to head into the rear master. This rug reminds me of marshmallows on a s'mores. I think I'm going to need some of those later. Look how gorgeous this rear vanity is. is flawless as usual and look at the shower it's got just a huge glass shower that's a flip up seat made out of teak there and there's a lot of storage back here too I'll show you what I'm talking about just as you go into the master bath on the right we did a stackable washer and dryer the dryer is a 220 volt dryer, so it works like it should. It has retractable doors, so they're out of the way while you're doing laundry. And we chose to do a stack unit with a top load washer and a front load dryer because it's a lot easier in a smaller area to move the clothes from the washer to the dryer on a top load than it would be to get down here in the front and do it on a front load. Just forward of that is the clothes hamper. There's a hanging locker above it. And lots of storage in the bathroom.
across the back here is another large hanging locker. Big drawers down below. And then more drawers in the vanity. This is the dinette I mentioned earlier. The seats and the tabletop both extend so that you could very easily seat six people around it. So we've just had a look at a 2022 Newell coach number 1716. Gorgeous center entry, quad slide, bath and a half. If you'd like to know more about this coach, you can always contact me at brianp at newellcoach.com. I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.